there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Shoulder holsters in the Old West. Let's talk about it. Shoulder holsters are an interesting way to carry a firearm. They're used not only for concealment, but for comfort and accessibility. We see them being more prevalent later in the Old West era, and there are some really great examples that still exist from then. The design is simple, with one or more straps going across the back, usually connecting to the holster in the region of the armpit. The idea of a holster concealed under a coat dates back to the antebellum period, when a vest was designed with this in mind. By the 1870s and 1880s, a leather version of this original idea was invented. The common design was a Texas pattern popularized by Ben Thompson, the notorious gunslinger from the Texas Pan. Charles Longfellow, a former ghostwriter, has some Old West limbs in his family tree. His great-grandfather, John Henry Longfellow, was present at the 1884 Medicine Lodge bank robbery. That's him holding the jail door open in the background. By 1900, John was the marshal of the peaceful little town of Peru, Nebraska, where he broke up illegal card games and put drunks in the Huskow. This was the shoulder rig he wore. The revolver in it is his nickel-plated Harrison and Richards break top chambered in 32. You can see that the shoulder holster got a lot of use during Longfellow's tenure as a lawman and experienced some alterations. These thread holes show it was originally for a larger gun and was cut down and readjusted. Snaps were invented in the 1880s and elastic in the 1820s. This add-on was to help keep the rig in place by looping underneath the vest. Although many of these rigs were sold, there was an awkwardness to pulling the gun out from this position. By the 1890s, a new design came about, the clip spring, also called the skeleton rig. Uh, no, not, not quite. This is just stupid. This had metal clips covered in leather which bound the gun until it was pulled out by the handler. This was easier because the gun just popped free without the upward motion. John Wesley Harden was another Old Westian who is said to have sported one in 1895. Uh-oh. Now, the shoulder rig made famous by Val Kilmer's Doc Holliday put the holsters lower towards the waist and at an angle that made it easy to draw from. I haven't found any evidence that this design was made during the Old West period, but it sure should have been. I have two guns, one for each of you. Adaptations in concealed carry were left to the imagination and we'll cover more of that in the future. Since the Old West period, shoulder holsters have evolved to accommodate more than just revolvers. Good guys and bad guys still wear them, as evident in most movies made about 1930s gangsters. By the way, I have never made a shoulder holster. Hmm, maybe it's about time I did. Don't worry, when I do, I'll film the whole process for you all. Well folks, that's it for the episode on shoulder holsters. Hope you learned something. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on Damn Trail.